I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some interesting questions which involve right triangles, similar triangles and the theorems which we did on geometric mean. The question here is determine the unknown sides x, y and z for the given triangle. Well, I'll also give you a link for those theorems so that you can understand this topic better. Now, let's begin by solving this particular triangle using similar triangle techniques. So we have two rather three right triangles here. Triangle ABC is a right triangle 90 degrees at A and then we have two small right triangles ACD and ABD, right? As you know in this particular case all these three triangles are kind of similar. Let us see how. We'll first work out the angles. Let us say that uh, this particular angle for us is let us say this angle is theta now if that angle is theta then in this small triangle 90 minus theta should be angle b right so let me write this as 90 minus theta right everything is in degrees for us now here total angle a at this vertex is 90 and therefore this angle should also be 90 minus theta now this is 90, this is 90 minus theta, so C should be theta for us, right? So we have clearly written what the angles are. Now let us consider the triangles one by one. So if I consider the triangle ADC and the triangle A, uh, ADB, okay, let me write triangle ADB then what do you notice? Now these two small triangles we are considering, both of them have one 90 degrees, right? And both of them have these theta theta angles. So they're similar. So they are similar triangles because of a, a property, right? Because of a, a property. So they are similar triangles. Since they are similar triangles, their side ratios should be equal correct and therefore now we can write the ratios as side opposite two so we know these two sides so we'll use these two sides and in one triangle one side eight is opposite to 90 minus theta so I'll write eight over the other side is opposite to theta so that is y for us okay in this triangle side opposite to 90 minus theta is y so we get y over side opposite to theta is 5 so get 5 correct so that is how we get now this is a ratio so we can cross multiply so when we cross multiply what do we get we get 40 equals to y square or we get square root of 40 as y so y is square root of 40 which you can of course write as uh, should I write decimal or let me re, re, uh, use square roots itself. So 4 times 10 which is 2 square root 10 will be y for us. So we got the value of y using these two triangles, right? So I think you've understood the concept. That is to say we can take another set of triangles and then again use this particular property and solve it, right? So now this time let us take uh, the triangle one small triangle over the big triangle okay so let us take triangle a c d and then we'll take triangle big triangle a a c b right so let us say a so we took a c and d and then we are taking a bigger triangle which is a c b now these two triangles are also similar since ACD has one right angle and one theta and ACB, the big triangle, also has a right angle and theta, right? So they are similar. Since they are similar, their ratios of the side should be constant. Now 8 plus 5, CB is 13. Let me write 13 here. So that is 13 for us, right? 8 plus 5. We are going to use this side now in this particular ratio. So now we are considering this bigger triangle and the biggest triangle. In this, what 
we know is 8 which in the big triangle is opposite or rather we should say the hypotenuse in the big triangle is hypotenuse is 13 so we can write this as 13 divided by the other side which we know or which we can find in this big triangle is z so let me write z there should be equal to z is a positive 2 in big triangle 90 minus theta right so we are looking for two sides one is a positive 90 degrees so in this triangle a positive 90 is z and the other one is a positive 90 minus theta so a positive 90 minus theta is 8 so we get 8 here so from here we get 13 times 8 equals to z square and then we can write what z is right so that gives us z is equals to square root of so let me use the calculator so we have square root of 13 times 8 and that is equals to 2 square root 26 so 2 square root 26 is the value of z so we get z also right so we have found two two sides and now you can find the third one using similar techniques so this time let me use the triangle again big triangle ABC and we know it is similar to that small triangle ABD let me write down like that right so both have ABC and ABD B is common and both have 190 degrees so they are similar right so in this case we'll try to find the remaining side X X could be found as in the big triangle we know the hypotenuse is 13 so we'll write 13 divided by now in this yeah, we divided by this x is a positive theta so we'll write divided by x equals to in the small triangle opposite theta we have uh, 5 right so so one we are looking into side opposite to hypotenuse which is x and opposite to theta is 5 so we'll write 5 here cross multiply so we get 13 times 5 equals to x square or x is equals to square root of 13 times 5 you get the idea that is what we call geometric mean of the sides right so this is geometric mean theorem so we get x is equals to square root of 13 times 5 and that gives a square root of 65 equals to x correct so using similarities of these triangles we can find all our answer right so what we got here was in this particular case x is equals to square root of 65 you can always write in decimal values y is equals to 2 square root 10 these are exact answers and z is equals to 2 square root 26 right so these are the units whichever units you choose for 8 and 5 so that is how we can solve it i hope that helps Thank you and all the best.